of himself, like Canelo not wanting to make the fights on your terms. But politics, it seems. World politics, not like like Canelo's boxing politics and Better Biev is global politics. Do you think that it is fair for even if you are a Russian fighter or any Russian fighter to be denied an opportunity to fight for world titles because of what the government is doing? Of course it's not fair. Of course it's not fair. How you could say that I am the champion of the world if somebody from some country couldn't fight for your belt. But this guy could be better than you. It's not fair. And this guy just training, just uh, spending his time in the gym. And he's not allowed to fight. He's the same like you. He's just living in a different uh, in different apartment, in different place. But he's working the same like you. He's training, he's fighting, his mental is similar like you. But why he's, he's not allowed to fight? It's not fair. And last on this politics part, it seems like um, Aram and others are excusing Better Biev from his relationship with the government, but holding you accountable for your relationship with the government of Russia. Do you think that that is unfair? Of course it's not fair. Of course it's not fair, it's unfair, because uh, I don't want to say that, oh, let me uh, let me fight Bitter Beef uh, because uh, I'm not spent last time, uh, too much time in Russia. To be honest, I didn't spend more than four months last year in Russia. I spent uh, my time in all of the world, but I don't want to say this is the reason why I want to fight him. No, no. Uh, the reason is uh, don't uh, don't mix politics and sport. Don't mix it. Do you have a message for other athletes and even people in business in your country, people from your family who are just trying to uh, make money and pursue their profession, who are being blocked or denied the ability? because, again, of what the government is doing, but not something that they may personally support. You know, uh, all my life, I watch only uh, sports news. I love uh, watching shows and everything. I didn't involve in some politics. I didn't involve in the coronavirus when it was. You know, I didn't give someone uh, I didn't give some, to someone any recommendation when the coronavirus was in the world because I'm not the doctor. I'm not a politic now to say about it. I'm an athlete. And those are the words of Dimitri Bivol as he is interviewed by Radio Rahim here. <laughs> and he explains his side and how he feels about the WBC, Bob Arum, top rank, freezing him out because he is Russian, okay? And it's a very good interview. Uh, I'll leave the link below in the description so you guys can see it in its, in its entirety. But I have to agree with Dimitri Bivol, and he brought up some good points, you know, like, hey, I'm not into the politics of any of this stuff. Uh, I don't involve myself in politics. You're freezing me out because I'm a Russian citizen. I don't even stay in Russia most of the time. Maybe four months out of the year, if that. Everywhere else, I was somewhere else. You know, um, I only look at sports news. You know, so basically, basically what Dimitri Bivol is saying is, Everything, including coronavirus, and you know how that was a big shit show for a lot of people. Are you vaccinated? Are you unvaccinated? Do you believe in it? You know, he didn't even mention to say or use that as, you know, um, or to give his 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 particulars on that because he's not he's not a doctor. Neither is he a politician. Great example, and. I understand how people feel about the Russian invasion. It's not fair either, okay? But what also isn't fair 
is you have people that do what they normally do and just because they're from a certain place, they are not allowed to do what they are accustomed to doing. Okay? Now, even this goes as far as, you know, our tour better be, well, he's been here for 10, 13 years or whatever, but, you know, these guys are from the same place. You know what I mean? That's just like someone from Mexico and he can't do things because Mexico is at war with the U.S. And then you got another guy that, hey, I'm Mexican too, but I lived in Texas for 13 years. Who cares? You then you start to talk and think about like, okay, well, what is this really about? And I think Dimitri Bivol is in a shitty situation. I knew it was very bad when they wanted to hold his purse because he was for, he was a Russian citizen. That's crazy. You know, but all in all, it's not fair. Um, but I do think Dimitri Bivol needs to relocate, honestly, because he's going to be in the same situation, you know, um, fighting over there. And it's unfortunate that's that's happening right now. But I think Dimitri Bivol and Artur Better Be needs to get it on. They need to get it on. Hopefully they can have it in Saudi Arabia. You know, but Mauricio Suleiman probably won't be attached, so the WBC will probably step back since he's already made a statement and how he feels about the Russians invading Ukraine. And I think Dmitry Bivol is a very intelligent guy as well, you know, and he stayed consistent, people. It's not like he was all Mother Russia, you know what I mean? He wasn't even like that. He was just a guy that's a very good fighter, one of the best fighters in the world that happened to be from Russia, okay? With the WBA. Bars. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Dmitry Bivol blasting Bob Arum, blasting the WBC. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!